hi there and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is toby and this is your first time on this youtube channel you're most highly welcome and the viewer returning subscriber thank you so 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 much <music> Right, so let's go into what today's video is about. Today's video is basically on the best um, degrees to actually study in the social sciences. So be sure to stay to the end of this video because I've got five key points. However, I'm just going to put it out there just so you know that you, you know, this is based on my discretion and based on like the findings and based on research you've actually conducted from all the um, sources basically that had actually made me arrive at this five conclusions. So, so, so. Just to put it out there, it's at my own discretion and it's up to you to actually, you know, consider them the best. And if you've got anyone that you think is the best or you think it's easier going into, feel free to actually drop down your comments in the comment section. First one I'm actually going to be looking at is criminal justice. Criminal justice, whilst obviously whilst going into the academia, whilst going into the education, I was actually not very conversant with criminal justice. All I knew was criminal law, but I did not really understand criminal justice. At the beginning of my early careers but along the line after my um, undergraduate degree I understood um, criminology basically so I came about um, that was when obviously criminology became a theme as well so back in the days it wasn't necessarily by itself uh, but right now it's actually one of those um, very you know I demand um social sciences degree with a criminology um degree or sorry a criminal justice degree you can literally um work in different sectors as well you can be a criminologist you could be an investigator you could be a forensic scientist you could be a police officer you could be a researcher you could be a social analyst so there's just pretty much a lot of things to actually do with a criminal justice degree and another reason why i you know rather prefer a criminal justice degree is because it's quite very you know very very um interactive very in-depth it kind of understands human context human behavior so it's that sort of interdisciplinary degree if you get what i mean so you're looking at things from the legal perspective you're looking at it from the psychological perspective you're looking at it from the sociological perspective it's just a lot you know a lot of um philosophies a lot of you know psychological aspect into that subject the other degree i would actually recommend is political science i know a lot of us are actually aware about political science and i know a lot of people actually feel like oh political science is actually one of those degrees that are kind of like um not really necessary right now due to the low demand in social sciences job however with a political science degree you could actually go into different sectors as well similar to um all that social sciences degree you know but this is more focused in the governmental aspect so which is the difference between that and criminology because with the political science you know you could work as a political analyst you could also watch as a you could also work as a social um analyst you could work as a public officer so you could work obviously in governmental organizations you could work with ngos you could work as a you could work as a researcher you know there are a couple of jobs you could actually do with a political scientist degree and you're not sort of limited to a particular country as well because in the political sense of it, it actually covers a whole range of countries or a whole range of organizations. So it sort of depends on what you want to focus on. Political science is actually a very broad one and it's something you should consider as well. And number three is actually education. I know, I know, I know. I know a lot of people actually these days do not really want to go into education or do not want to teach. But if you're pretty much confused about what you really want to do and you want to have that secured career path, then I would actually highly recommend education. Education is actually very fulfilling as well. It's something I enjoy doing um, based on the fact that I actually lecture as well. This is something that is pretty much rewarding, having to impact knowledge, having to transfer knowledge. So if you're one of those people, like even you know, if you feel like you have that, you know, have that passion to, you know, pass the knowledge to other generations or to other people, um, then definitely you should actually consider education as well. The fourth one I'm going to be looking at is international relations. I made a video earlier about um, jobs. You can apply for like the best jobs I consider you could apply for with an international relations degree. International relations degree, it's also very, very, very diverse. You can work, you know, with the human resource. You could work with charity organizations. You can work with non-governmental organizations. You can also work with public services as well. So it's pretty much, you know, a whole, like, it's literally broad. All you need to do is just narrow down, you know, what you want to specify on, like what you want to specialize into. 
but international relations is actually one of them social science course that i would actually recommend as well and the last one is sociology sociology is actually one of those degrees that a lot of people actually do not go into and it's just like criminology as well which is actually very um which is growing right now and i would actually say you know if you're pretty much um trying to figure out a course or you're trying to go into a course that is not you know just not popular like it's not everywhere it's not you know a course that a lot of people actually apply for it hasn't got that i demand or that i push into it then you should consider sociology as well it's actually a very good one because it's pretty much interdisciplinary as well just as criminology i hope this video actually does help you in some and please do make sure you check out my other videos which might actually be helpful to you in one way or the other and i'll be sure to actually see you on my next video thank you very much for stopping by again and i'll see you soon bye